As usual, I am too lazy to change the title graphics, but I'd like to welcome you to the penultimate wager. I'm Keith Williams. Penultimate wager, not really an accurate name, it's the anti-anti-penultimate wager, I guess, as it turned out, but Chris has it <clears throat> with an $800 clue in a buffalo category. He's got 13,400. Addison, our returning Brooklynite champion, has 8,000. If I'm Chris, I want to put this game away. Chris wagered 3,000 to get into a lock position over Addison. The problem with that is if Addison gets one of the remaining clues right, it's going to be tough for Chris to maintain that lock. As it turns out, Addison missed one and then got a higher value clue to get barely into, into contention against Chris. So, the simplest wager would be to lock out Addison. Well, actually, the simplest wager is probably just over 3,000. But to lock out Addison, no matter what, we have three clues left, 12, 16, and 2,000. Their combined value is 2,800, 4,800. So if Addison gets those, he's going to have uh, 12, 8. Chris would have to get to 25, 6. Not a good wager. I mean, you could. It is an $800 clue, and it turns out to be pretty easy anyway. But there were some tough 800 clues. There are actually some tough 400 clues today, or 200 clues. Let's say he wants to force Addison to get two of these clues remaining. <laughs> and remember, Chris is going to get to pick the next clue, so if there's time pressure, well, no matter what, you should probably pick the 1,200 clue. So let's say he gets the 1,200 and the 2,000, that's going to be 3,200 more. That's 11,2, so to get to 22,4, that's going to be a wager of 9,000. And one. If he's wrong with that, he's going to be left with 44. 400, he's still in contention, and he, the way he thinks tonight, probably would have won the game from there anyway. The <clears throat> other thing that Chris could consider is, you know, Addison and I are pretty evenly matched. Maybe he gets one, and I get one. Let's say that Chris gets the lowest value clue, 1,200, and Addison gets the highest level clue, 2,000. And the other one goes unanswered. Chris is going to get, have to get above 10,000. With this, he'd be at 14.6. That means 5,400 more. 5,401 more. And uh, the risk there, of course, is that he's going to fall below Addison's total as it stands right now by a dollar. So it might be tempting, but maybe not the safest play. Maybe you just assume that Addison will get the $1,600 clue and go for that. But the key is you want to get the lock as soon as possible, or you want to get the lock period. And uh, just having $200 or $201 more than you really needed to uh, be in contention could have, for Addison anyway, could have cost Chris big time. I'm not going to say what wager would have guaranteed him a lock, all things considered. I'll let another blog take care of that. Uh, have a great weekend. Uh, looking to be pretty nice here in New York, and I hope the same goes for wherever you are. We'll see you Monday on the final wager.